Good morning, my dear grade 12 students. Welcome to Contemporary Philippine Arts from the regions wherein your creativity and artistic ability will be developed and practiced. I'm Ms. Maricris Bicidilla from Lawang Bato National High School, your art teacher for week one. Join me as we explore the various contemporary art forms in the Philippines. Before we begin, I would like to remind you of the following. First one, prepare your pen, your notebook, and learning module. Second, observe proper netiquette. Use the chat box in answering question. Lastly, participate, have fun, and stay focused during the discussion. For today's most essential learning competency is to Identify the various contemporary art forms and their practices from the various region. And for today's learning objectives, number one is to explain the definition of arts and contemporary arts. Second, identify various contemporary art forms and their practices from various region. And lastly, is to value the importance of studying contemporary arts. To start, we will be going to define the previous definition of arts when you are in junior high school. What is the definition of arts when you are in junior high school? Kindly use the comment sections to give the answers. Very good! All your answer is correct. Art described as means of expression that require imagination or skills in making aesthetic objects. Before we proceed to our formal discussion, let us have a game first. Are you familiar with the various contemporary art forms and their practices from the various region? Let us find out by doing the first activity, which is guess that picture or video. What you are going to do is you are going to guess the various contemporary art forms that I'll be playing or posting. You may place your answer. On our comment section, are you ready? So let us have an example. Let's have the first slide. What contemporary art form is playing on the side? Very good. The answer is dance. When we say dance, it is referred to the art form involving a series of rhythmic, rhythmic movement, human movements that are first purposely selected. Let us have the next slide. What contemporary art form is seen on these slides? Excellent! The answer is weaving. Weaving refers to the process of creating a cloth by interweaving a series of parallel vertical threads with another series of horizontal threads in right angles. Let us have the next slide. Try to guess what contemporary art form is playing on this slide. Science Beats Production. That is great. The answer is music. Music refers to the defines as the arrangement sounds to create a continuous and unified composition. Let us have the last one. What contemporary art form is on this slide? Very good, you got it right. The answer is painting. Painting refers to the process of applying colors on a flat surface. Did you also get the correct answers? Hit the care button if you identified the four words correctly. Our games a while ago is related to our discussion for today's topic. Now, what comes to your mind when you hear the word art? Kindly use the chat box for answering. Very good. Some of you answer museum, painting, colors, skill, creativity. Let us have the first definition of art, which is art as a product. 
When we say art as a product, it includes the human creation, different activities and forms of expression, such as painting, sculpture, architecture, literature, dance, photography. Art may also refer to a skill or mastery. And lastly, art is expression of feelings and ideas shared by individuals regardless of culture. Let us now proceed to the three functions of art. Okay, let us have a game first. What you are going to do is you are going to guess what is the first function of art. Okay, let us have the first clue. The first clue is this is one word with 13 letters. The first letter starts with the vowel letter E. And the next clue, last word is letter T. And the third clue is the sixth. Sixth letter is letter T. Very good. You got it right. The answer is for entertainment. The first function of art is for personal function. When we say personal function, it satisfies the individual needs for personal expression. And the second function of arts is for social function. For social needs, for display, celebration, and communication. Again, let us have a game. What you are going to do is you are going to guess the third function of arts. Okay. The first clue is, this one is a one, one word. The first letter is a consonant, letter P. The next clue, last word, is letter Y. And the third clue, second letter, is letter R. And the last clue, the uh, seventh letter is letter C. You may answer. Excellent! You got it right. The answer is for practicality. The third function of art is for physical function, which means for everyday use, or the physical needs for utilitarian objects and structure. Let us now proceed to our next topic, which is the timeline of Philippine arts. The first one is the ethnic art, ethnic art or also known as the pre-colonial era. During this time, the characteristic of art is more on integral part. So those are the art that they are using in their daily lives. Let's say, for example, um, curving, folk dances. We also have the pottery during this time. The example of that is the Palawan Manunggol uh, jar and the uh, Ilocos Burnay jar found in Ilocos. So the next one is the uh, Islamic art. In the 13th century, the traders and missionaries have introduced the religion of Islam in the Philippines. It is characterized by the designs of flowers, plant forms, and geometric design. It is used in architecture like buildings, houses, and churches. The example of that is the batik cloth. Okay, as you can see, we have two examples of batik cloth. The number one is with the floral design and number two is the geometric design. Okay. We also have the Grand Mosque of Cotabato, found in Cotabato. Let us now proceed to the next era, which is the Spanish art. So during this time, it was when 1521 and 1898, the characteristic of Spanish art was uh, characterized by trade and catechism. Example of that is the purgatory painting, painted by Joseph Luciano Vance, who painted the two arts to be found in Paete Laguna. We also have the Escolarium, painted by Juan Novicio Luna. And last example is the St. Augustine Church found in Pauay, Ilocos, Norte. The next timeline of the Philippine art is the American era. 
during 1898 up to 1900, wherein the characteristic was secular form of art. What is secular form of art? When we say secular, it is refers to the art that has no religious reference point of view, but focuses on humanistic view and nature. The next one is the uh, Japanese era. During the 1941 up to 1950, wherein the characteristic is orientalizing. They imposed their own music in the Philippines. In the Philippines. One of the example of that is the architecture of church of the Rison Lord in the University of the Philippines found in Diliman, Quezon City. Let us now proceed to the modern era. So during the time of 1960 up to 1969, wherein the characteristic is national identity. Modern era is also known as traditional art. And lastly, is the contemporary era. Contemporary era is characterized, characterized by social realism. It is refers to the art of today. Again, when we say contemporary, contemporary means present day art today. So it means that the contemporary art is the art that we are using right now. Okay, so let us have a short tour of contemporary art forms from various regions and provinces in the Philippines. So we have the first one. Our first stop is from Batanes, wherein they use the buckle headgear in order for, uh, for them to protect from the heat of the sun when working in the park. It is also used as substitute in the umbrella in rainy season. Okay, our next one is the Binta Boats of Mindanao. So Binta Boat is the traditional boat of the Moro and Samabadjao people living in Sulu. It also symbolizes character of the Mindanao people as travelers and immigrants. And the last one is the uh, Pangalay or Pangalay is the traditional fingernail dance of the thousand people of the Sulu archipelago and eastern coast of Bajau of Sa Saba. So let us now summarize our topic. So for today's discussion, we discuss the definition of art. Again, when we say art, it is refers to the any skill or mastery. And we also define the definition of contemporary. Contemporary means present day or now. We also discuss the various contemporary art forms in the Philippines, which is composed of visual art and performing arts. And lastly, we have discussed the timeline of arts in the Philippines. First one is the ethnic art, followed by Islamic art, followed by Spanish era, followed by American era, era. The next one is the Japanese era, and the next one is the modern era, also known as the traditional art, wherein the characteristic is more on the national identity of the Filipinos. And the last one is the contemporary, contemporary era, which is characterized as social realism. Before we end our discussion, let us see how much you have learned from today's lesson. Comment your answer in our comment section. Let us have a fact check. Write true if the statement is correct and write false if the statement is wrong. Write your answer on the chat box. Let me read the questions for you. Number one. Contemporary art refers to the art today. You have five seconds to answer. Very good. If your answer is true, you are correct. Let us have the number two. Buckle headgear is used by the native of Batanes or Ibatans to protect the wearer from the sun and rain. You have five seconds to answer. Very good. The answer is true. The third one. 
ethnic or during pre-colonial era focuses on the national identity of the Filipinos. Is it true or false? You have five seconds to answer. The answer is false. Ethnic art focuses on integral part or the product that uses on the everyday life. Well done! Did you, also, did you also get the correct answer? Hit the care button if you identify the three answers correctly. If you still have questions and point of clarification regarding the topic for today, you can ask your respective subject teacher in your follow-up session. I hope you enjoy and learn something from today's discussion. Thank you for watching and listening. Stay safe and have a good day.